I got cucumbers. Okay, Mom, guys. You are right. We found a treasure. So we just got out of the pool and we came and over. We found a treasure. Look. What's so. We <gasps> found a sweet potato. Bear, you found a sweet Ooh, potato. Yucky. It looks like something ate it. Oh well. Anyway, so we just got out of the pool and we came over here to munch, munch on our thriving katuk tree. And then I was like, you know what? It's finally time to plant out the garden because it would sure be nice to have more garden greens to be munching on. We're cleaning out all of the sweet potato vines. We've got two racks of bananas on the palm in the corner to harvest. Little Miss Zoe gave us a long four hour nap to get the job done. So Dusty and Max ran to Home Depot. We need fresh organic soil and compost so that we can actually plant the seeds in our garden and get this thing growing because here in Florida it's actually ideal to get started planting some things in August that can grow when it cools a little bit in the fall. I'm a little bit hot and sweaty and very very dirty and grimy and a little bit itchy so I cannot wait to shower off and get cleaned up and eat some dinner. We're gonna have leftover taco bowls. So I'm gonna go in and basically chop everything, like all of our favorite colorful salad ingredients. And then we're gonna have our protein packed taco meat that has lentils, quinoa, mushrooms, onion, garlic, and some crumbled tofu. So there's like three major great sources of protein and iron and some calcium and some healthy fat. It tastes amazing the way Dusty seasons it. And then we also have some brown rice to go with that's left over and some black beans. This is the perfect meal prep meal. It's in our meal planner and recipe app. If you guys want to check it out, be sure to grab 75% off the Eat Move Rest Club yearly membership linked below in the description. That is a recurring 75% off every year that you stay in. If you guys like this video and you wanna see more like it, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. It really, truly does mean a lot to us. It helps our channel so much. Be sure to leave us some love in the comments below. Let us know what you're planting in your garden, what you've had the most success with, especially if you're here in Florida. Let's go and make some dinner. Everybody's welcome here. time we have this two three times a week it is homemade chipotle bowls super easy to meal prep make a big thing of rice beans our lentil meat which is in the app if you guys don't already know these are oh man i'm tempted to eat it myself the kids burritos black beans rice and some hummus i will say besides being delicious this is so easy and so affordable you guys especially if you're looking at meal planning eating plant-based on a budget these are amazing, can't go wrong with. So from swimming in the pool, to getting messy in the garden, to meeting friends at the beach, I am salty, sandy, muddy, dirty, all the things. My absolute favorite thing, other than actually getting messy and finally planting the garden is self-care so nothing feels better than getting cleaned up after a long day of sweating in the sun i'm super excited because osea just launched their brand new body care product we have been absolutely obsessed with osea malibu's body care collection for years now the citrusy scent is unbeatable it's so uplifting and they just added a new product to the collection it is the andaria algae body wash the thing i love about the body wash is the gentle lather and it soothes your skin rather than stripping it and it supports your ph and your skin's barrier it has the andaria algae scent that we all know and love as well as avocado coconut and jojoba oil to revitalize and moisturize the skin it is one of my new favorites and must-haves for body care. After the shower, I oil up with their iconic Andaria Algae Body Oil, their best seller, and then I'll either follow it with the Andaria Algae Body Lotion or Body Butter if I'm really in the mood for an at-home spa-like experience. Osea Malibu is awesome because they are clean, vegan, cruelty-free, ocean positive, climate neutral, and they are mother and daughter founded. So it doesn't get better than that. If you guys wanna check out all of their incredible products, including the new body wash, 
click the link below and use my discount code for an exclusive 10% off. Good morning, you guys. It is day two of our garden overhaul. I am so excited. The boys got their soil last night, so we're gonna fill the beds today and make them nice and fluffy and nutrient rich and plant our seeds. Before we get into the garden, we're gonna have green smoothies for breakfast, get in our sweat session, and then tonight we actually have a homeschool orientation. So Dusty's gonna make a big slow cooker stew so that we'll have that ready for us to eat either right before we leave or when we get home. That is one of the critical components to sustaining this lifestyle long term is to always plan ahead. All right, you guys, Max and I are ready. Last night we went and got our soil, good premium organic soil. I got my helper here helping me carry stuff. Look, these are edible. They make you really big and strong. What's it called? Kentucky. Uh, okay, you guys, so because these garden beds aren't massive, I did just run over and grab some organic raised bed garden soil from the hardware store. It's much cheaper to go and buy in bulk, but because we just needed a little bit to top it off here, it had settled so much over the last year I just went and bought a few bags either way it's gonna be good it's gonna be good quality add a little sand like I mentioned maybe add a little coconut coir or peat moss and you're gonna be good to go we're under a very dark cloud we're actually getting rained on so we're gonna finish pulling the rest of the weeds put our dirt in and then we're gonna soak our coconut coir it's gonna expand we're gonna mix it all together and get ready to plant this coconut coir is similar to peat moss I think I just bought these on Amazon they come in a brick like this and we'll leave them out and let them get rained on a few times or sprinkle them with the hose and they're gonna expand mix it up and it'll give a nice airy light medium to plant in so it doesn't get too dense doesn't get too soggy especially in wet Florida <laughs> organic gourmet lettuce blend. We've got rocket or arugula, collards. We love to juice these. They're great for wraps. Spinach. Everybody loves a good spinach. Sweetie, cherry tomatoes, beets. It's gonna be good stuff. It's all organic. And now I'm chopping on green beans. The jello mold's looking kind of mean. Uh, load it up because it's all free. I'm going back to thirds. Okay. Oops, this set lost for birds. So you know when you like do your skincare and your makeup and all the things and you go back outside and sweat it all off? That just happened. <laughs> and it always feels like a thousand times hotter when you don't want to sweat. So sweating, dripping, very, very. We're having some fruit. We've just got strawberries, grapes, bananas, waffles that we made kind of late in the day. I'll be interested to see what works out in our garden. If any of you are seasoned gardeners, especially in the Florida area, please reach out, either comment below or DM us so we can chat and learn a few things. Mm. All right, guys, I am now in the kitchen with my slow cooker ready to go. It is about 3 p.m. We have to be on the road. We've got a busy afternoon and evening. So as Aaron mentioned, I'm gonna chop a quick dinner to put in the slow cooker. So that in about five or six hours when we get home, it's ready to go because I know we will be starving. So what I did was I just opened up our app. We have all of our recipes in our app. If this is something you guys don't already have, you need to join our membership. Within our membership, we have every recipe, ebook, juice fast, seriously everything we've ever created included, also including our app subscription. So one payment gives gets you everything, including a weekly live Zoom call with us. We go live with our group members every Friday. If you want nothing more than recipes, it's still a good deal. Join the membership, you'll get the app. What I'm making tonight on the app is our African or Moroccan peanut stew. We haven't had this one in a super long time, but it is so unique. 
so delicious. It's gonna be perfect for the slow cooker. So let me show you what you need and how to do it. Okay guys, so I'm looking at the app right now. This is our African peanut stew. Hearty grounding. This one is so good with a side of jasmine or basmati rice, some red lentils for iron, obviously some protein. And at the end, we garnish with a little dollop of coconut cream. This is so good. So for this recipe, you're gonna need a yellow onion, four cloves of garlic, two or three sweet potatoes, depending on how, much, how big you wanna make it, two or three large tomatoes. I'm actually probably gonna use about five or six smaller tomatoes. I'm also gonna put some fresh ginger in there and some tomato paste. And then at the very end, I'm also gonna put some peanut butter in and maybe even garnish with a few chopped peanuts. This is so good. I cannot wait for this one. It is absolutely delicious. So I'm actually gonna start by sauteing my onion and garlic, even though I am gonna put it in the slow cooker. I've noticed that if I don't saute my onion first, I sometimes have kind of an overbearing oniony smell and flavor in my slow cooker meals. And we get this question all the time. What do you saute with if you guys are oil free? And I will say we occasionally use oil if we're making Italian food and especially if we're cooking for the kids, I'm less afraid of the oil. But I will also say that too much oil gives me heartburn. So I like to saute pretty much everything in just a little bit of veggie broth. If you don't have veggie broth, just use water. And Aaron started soaking some chickpeas last night. So I'm gonna rinse these and I'm actually gonna cook these in the Instant Pot before I add everything else. We like to cook our beans or chickpeas from dried. So again, soak them overnight with a little apple cider vinegar. I'm gonna cook these up for 15 minutes in the Instant Pot, take them out, rinse them, while I'm sauteing my onion and garlic, add everything into the Instant Pot, and then I'm gonna see if I can sneak a workout in before we get on the road, come home to a fresh cooked meal, can't beat that. The one spice that I didn't mention that I am gonna add that's so crucial is not cumin, but cumin seeds. It's different, trust me. A little bit of cumin seeds dropped in there is better, in my opinion, than just straight ground cumin. So I'm gonna throw a few cumin seeds in there, maybe even a little fennel, because I like the way fennel, it's good for your gut, it's got a good aroma, a good a smell, a good taste. Might drop some of that in there with, of course, some salt and pepper, maybe some parsley. Put it all in and can't wait to come home to this one. It's gonna be so good.